Today's question comes from a good friend of the channel, longtime follower, Mark Philip Rini. And Mark asks, how do you work out what BIOS version your PC is running and how do you go about updating it if it's out of date? This is a great question and tons of people I'm sure run into this very issue. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price, get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Now, first of all, let me say that not everybody needs to update their BIOS. If your PC is working well and you're happy with it, if it's not something you're used to doing, maybe leave it alone makes sense. On the flip side, a lot of security flaws in CPUs, motherboards, and chipsets have come out over the past few years, Spectre, Meltdown, and others. BIOS updates have created a lot of security fixes and patches for these things. Maybe those don't concern you, maybe they're not a big deal to you, maybe they are. Depending on how you feel about it, if you've got a system that's more than a year old, it may very well be worth updating the BIOS to get the latest security patches, performance improvements, etc. Now, the, to answer the first part of the question, how do you know what BIOS you're running? CPU-Z. Uh, as far as I know, everybody uses CPU-Z to see this. It is a free tool. Just search CPU-Z in Google. Very easy. It is also, it's, first of all, it'll tell you the make and model of your motherboard, the date and version of your BIOS. It'll tell you the uh, serial presence detect of your system memory that's installed. In other words, what's it rated for? It'll give you the JDEC specs as well as whatever XMP standards are on it. So if you have DDR4 3200 or 3600, it'll actually show you that. And then it will show you what your RAM is actually running at. Not only the memory speed, but the subtiming. So it's also very useful for that as well. Your CPU, the voltage, and a variety of other things. Download that, take a look at the motherboard, make and model that you have, take a look at the BIOS version, and then go to the manufacturer of your motherboard and see what's currently available. For example, if you have an MSI B450 Tomahawk non-max, it's important to understand every make and model is different. A B450 Tomahawk max and a B450 Tomahawk non-max are two very different motherboards. The BIOS is not interchangeable. So do be sure you get the right one. Go to the support page, go to downloads. Every manufacturer is different, but there's gonna be a page on there with a list of BIOSes. And typically they'll have a description of very useless like improved performance and stability, improved security updates, uh, enhanced RAM compatibility, but they don't typically say more than that. You do not, let me repeat, you do not have to flash every version of every BIOS. It's not, well, usually. There have been exceptions. Thankfully, they're rare, but typically you can go straight to the newest BIOS. I say that because occasionally you do need to read the BIOS notes. I know that some ASRock boards have done this where it'll say before you flash the newest BIOS, make sure you flash like dot 40 or something. And so you'll have to do a stair step. But typically, typically you can go straight to the newest BIOS. Most boards, you will have to download this BIOS to a USB thumb drive, boot into the BIOS, press F2 or delete, go into the BIOS flash option. It's a big fat roll pane in the Kishnizzle. There is a full detailed how to update your BIOS video over on the main Tech Deals channel. And if we remember, we will link it down in the video description below. And if we don't, shout at us in the comments and we'll add it after this is published. Some BIOSes will update over the internet. You can boot to the BIOS. You can go in there, choose internet. It'll connect to the internet and download the BIOS. You can skip the USB thumb drive. Some motherboards have a Windows update routine and will update the BIOS directly in the Windows. Some computers, such as this laptop, this is an ASUS ROG SCAR 17 laptop. This updates the BIOS in Windows Update. You don't even have to download anything. Some pre-builts, Dell, Acer's, Asus's, these will actually update through Windows Update. You don't have to do all that routine. So the answer is, it depends. BIOSes are sort of the last vestige of complicated computing you will run into. One more thing, if you update the BIOS on your motherboard, it will typically reset all your settings. Make sure you write down any custom settings before you do so. It will turn off XMP, it will turn off overclocks. It will reset your custom fan curves if you have set any up. It will potentially mess up your RAID setup if you set up RAID through the BIOS. Some motherboards offer the option to back up BIOS settings and then restore them after you've updated the BIOS, some don't. So just be aware that when you update the BIOS, you potentially lose all your custom settings. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't wanna spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. 
$15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.